Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Or night? <laughs> Was that some sort of spooky robot or ghost or something? Who knows? I don't, I don't have the answers. Wait. Or do gotta, I? We gotta whisper everything we say. Who knows? It I don't have the answers. It's or just. Uh, oh my god. It's an ASMR documentary. You see, we were going through YouTube the other day. This day, actually. This day? This day? The day that is... Today. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Today. And we found a video by a... indie YouTuber known as Shane Dawson who, uh... Sucks. But... <laughs> My my boy, my brother over here has got some beef with uh, the shame. S some completely nothing to do with this topic, beef. But I, I promise you, I, I won't let it affect my thoughts on the video. <laughs> I'll try and remove it when I can. But if I get flustered, that's why. Fuck Chuck E. Cheese and fuck whoever invented it. Shane Dawson makes documentaries. I get, yeah, when did this happen? I guess he just makes documentaries now? No, I think for a while, like, his content from last year, he doesn't do, like, his original stuff is a lot more just focused stuff on certain subjects, documentaries or stuff on, like, Jeffree Star, well, I mean, for example. his stuff used to be very sort of, like, him-focused, you know? Yeah. Like, me, 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 vlog, vlog. And then, like... Well, yeah, last time I remember watching a Shane Dawson video, he was, like... Buying the most expensive pizza of all time. So like $7,000 on a pizza? Like that kind of video. And I was like, this sucks. <laughs> and now fast forward to now, where he's making basically the same videos, but now three of those videos within one video, and they're just being called documentaries by someone. Like, I have such a problem with these, these fucking awful videos being called documentaries. And we're... We're not talking about, like, all of the documentaries. We're talking about one specific one, okay? Because there are too many. There are too many. They're so bloated, and there are so many of them. We have to focus on one. The one that Jim is obsessed with, and that, that Jim wanted me to watch, and that's the only reason we're talking about this one. Because it's incredible. Yeah. James Charles says my makeup is horrible, so I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most mind-blowing piece of media I've ever it's 100% uh, unpredictable Wait, like, so I've never seen anything quite like it so the video in question is Shane Dawson's was investigating conspiracies with Shane Dawson February 12 2019 36 million 259 thousand views which is just crazy and and the video is an hour and a half long. Hour and, and forty the video minutes. Is an hour and thirty four minutes long, and twenty nine seconds. An inexcusably long runtime for this, because I'm gonna go. I can't hold it anymore. I'm gonna go in and say, this video is an abomination. But also, wait, look at the slices, though. Wait, this is look, insane. Look at that. Like it is actually so. It's so inept at what it's trying to do. Objection. This video is genius. So. That's not to say there's no entertainment value to it, but... It is trash. That's, it is trash. That's, that's the thing that really I'm conflicted with. I don't know if it's just his brilliant personality or the... the people he interacts with, or the subject matter... In, the subject matters in this particular video. It just keeps you on edge, man. And that's why I love eating and I love gambling? I'm doing a YouTube video. No, it does, th this video is absolute trash. I think, I think this video, sitting down, if, if like, you just turn the light- <coughs> Sorry. If you just turn the lights off, and this was the only thing you were, like, focusing on. Clockwork Orange yeah. style, with your eyes being I think, held open, forced to watch this yeah, shit 24-7. I think, I think that is what it feels like to be schizophrenic. What, this video? Yes. I think that that just adds to the capacity to act out. And like, kind of shut it down. So I asked him what happened. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, like, I, I know you can't. Yeah, the like, because the video is completely the, unorganized and schizophrenic. The way, yeah, the way nothing flows, like, you can't really make sense of anything. You don't get enough time to make sense of anything. And there's just these things just appearing, like uh, eyes. Yeah. And then a robot, and then. I, the video's I'm, got like ADHD. Pick it up. Somebody pick it up. And, like, I needed help. I was like seven months pregnant, right? Now, also at that point I was like 30,000 in debt because I wasn't working because Milos didn't have a job and I was so sick. I want to have sex with you. Yeah! Oh, that was for right. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Chuck E. Cheese and fuck whoever invented it. I'm struggling to understand if it's purposeful, if he knows he's edited it this way for a reason. I'm struggling to like get that because it's, it's so bizarre. I think it's... In his mind, this is what a documentary is or something. Like, this is what he thinks his content needs to go. And, yeah, that's that's the issue I have, is that everyone calls these documentaries, these videos, when they're not. They're, they're YouTube videos, through and through. They're not documentaries. They're, they're just not. Like, the, a documentary is an exploration of, like, a subject, mm -hmm. right, in detail. It's the whole point, and it's supposed to be, like, at least fact or emotions based or interview based. There's some point at the end of it, you know, like a thesis. The thesis of this video is just investigating conspiracy theories of which out of the, what, four stories in this three, thing? Three. Three. Well, it's it's technically four because it's, one of them has two stories. It's three it. with a sun shoehorned in. Yeah. And out of all of the subjects that are talked about, how many of them are actual conspiracy theories? None. No, none of them are conspiracy theories. It, in which case, what, so the video is just a, a lie. Like, it's not even about the thing that they're saying it's about. He only marketed it and branded it that way because that's what's popular on YouTube and that's what has been popular on his channel for ages is the conspiracy theory yeah. BS. There's nothing well, of substance. The video he uploaded before this one was Conspiracy Theories with Shane Dawson. Yeah, which was probably a su surprise success. Like, it was even bigger than those Jake Paul interviews. Like, it was a mm -hmm. huge video, 40 million plus views. And then he releases this. Last time I checked, ducks didn't have tits. So let's break down the, the different stories, the conspiracy theories. The main one... The sort of headlining story that the whole... The one that takes up pretty much the majority of, yeah, of the, the, the video. The main chunk of the video is around this this woman um, who Shane Dawson was is friends with, Brittany, mm -hmm. who's another YouTuber. And that whole thing, there's like this really weird story about how she found... She went out with a guy on Tinder and then wound up basically being manipulated by this guy and had a kid with him, but then it, he may or may not have been in the Mafia? The Serbian, Serbian Mafia. The Serbian <laughs> Mafia. And that's kind of it. And then she gets away. Like, that's the whole story with that one. But it's yeah. spread out over an hour and 30 minutes because you have the other stories. The thing is, I... I wonder, like... The, if the reason nobody's really criticized this video at all is because that is such a serious subject. Because it's about human trafficking, um, mental... Potential human trafficking, yeah. Mental and physical abuse. Yeah, like a hardcore um, subject. Yeah. It is, and it's like, Shane, like, devalues that by the way he's actually made this video. With the other subject being, like, lumped in with this it's quite an absolutely hardcore subject. bizarre creative decision to have this... One story that's, that is really serious, and then in between each development of that story, you cut between this Chuck E. Cheese pizza theory. So I have a theory that I've wanted to talk about for a long time, but I don't know if anybody's going to care except for me. I think it's crazy. Whereas he's, his brilliant idea for this conspiracy theory video is to go to a Chuck E. Cheese and he has this like idea that behind the scenes at Chuck E. Cheese, they're collecting up all the spare pieces of pizza, and instead of making new pizzas when you order one, 
the pizza you receive is just like a pizza compilation. It's just loads of random slices from other pizzas and they're trying to sell it as if it's cook fresh based on no research besides just going on Google images and looking at pictures and then going into one Chuck E. Cheese, ordering a few pizzas and then going, oh my God. Oh my God. Ordering. And then, oh no, and then the, the, the ultimate payoff is when he takes one of the pizzas home and buys an overly sized ruler and the, the, measures well, the might pizza. Might I add, the ruler he bought is actually bent. It is actually bent. Yeah. So it's like, what's the point of buying a ruler to measure if it's straight if the ruler itself isn't straight? Yeah, it's curved. So yeah, the, and his conclusion on the Chuck E. Cheese pizza thing is, I don't know. Here's a consensus. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's yeah, a because, yeah, well, I mean, he doesn't do anything. He does nothing, and he acts the whole time like, oh my god, I'm really treading on ice here. Like, i got to keep my lawyers sued. involved with this one, yeah. He gets sued by Chuck E. Cheese. I was like, well, yeah, but because you're is, just saying shit. You're not actually proving anything. You're not saying anything of substance. Yeah, that's why it would be suable. Yeah. Because that is definitely. But it's like, well, hang on a minute. If you actually put the research in... And, and proved made a whether documentary. this was made a documentary, the very thing you're supposed to be doing. And removed all the other stuff and just had it focused on any one of these stories, then it, they'd be better videos. Like, I think if you split this video up into the different segments, they would be stronger videos just mm. on their own. Yeah. And he could have uploaded more videos and had more freaking ads because there's so many ads packed into the video because it's just so obscenely long. Six, it's yeah. like six. But not only ads. are there those ads, but there's the uh, product placements or yeah. plugs um, for his book. Her book. The, her book. Well, yeah, if we come back to the book thing in a minute, because there's still, you know, it's fine when you talk about everything and she wrote a book about it. Questions about what? Obviously, questions about it. I have answers. We'll get to that. They should. So let's see what this form says. Uh, there's the other Chuck E. Cheese storyline. About the the uh, gambling. Which, which has no relation to anything. It randomly yeah. pops up, I guess, in the second act, because the video is split up into no, three no, acts. No, 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 you're forgetting. The video opens with this. This yeah. is what the video opens on. That, that girl like filming on her webcam, talking about how she can't sleep because uh, Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> is... Gambling, you think is gamble, but yeah, randomly partway through the video, it stops being about the the pizza conspiracy, and starts to become about like gambling. Like it really has no point. It it, it seems like filler. Because let's face it, money matters. Just think about that. Oh my god! Like you had the theory that the pizza subplot wasn't big enough, so we had to come up with some other Chuck E. Cheese related yeah. conspiracy theory to buff the video out a bit, which is just so bizarre to me, because the video is already way too long, stupidly no, over long. I, I mean, the the video could be lo plenty long just about the story with Britney. They yeah. missed out quite a bit that, I think, there's probably a lot more to say about well, yeah. the whole fucking It's so bad, and it leaves so many unanswered questions, because we haven't even got to the other story thread that's in this atrocious video, which is the... this software that he finds, where you can you record your voice saying a bunch of different things, and then the software kind of learns your speech pattern, and you're able to type out messages that then the sort of robot voice that's impersonating you then speaks on your behalf. And and for some reason that takes up a third of the video. Just like it'll be a scene of the Britney thing that's like really intense and about like being abused and the possibility of a son being kidnapped and sold. We're getting there. Yeah. But like yeah, we're getting there. Brad? Then it cuts to fucking Chuck E. Cheese, and he's like, oh, but, oh, but pizza funny, oh dear, oh dear, and then yeah, cuts and again. But it, it will have Shane and his friends laughing in that yeah. clip that comes right after Britney crying about the the horrors that she experienced. It's just a monster, but okay, so... They literally say, no frozen dog. And then it cuts to, would you like to go to Taco Bell? It's like... We, we say it as if, like, you know... Do you want Taco Bell? 
No, I didn't have a good experience last time. It's like that. It will literally be talking, then a, a gif of like this CGI robot instantly yeah. onto like Chuck E. Cheese. It's that bad. Hey. There's no smooth transition. It is quite literally cut the, frame done. The, the worst thing that is in the video is when there isn't even that like robot transition. It will yeah. just be like scene of them talking about pizza Instant cut to jump. the kitchen and then they're doing the the voice thing the it's editing like if, is hilarious yeah it's it all gets, over the place it gets worse though because it, they'll it'll, it'll jump from all three in like the case of three seconds yeah i think the way they sort of did that fake like snowball effect was that throughout the video each clip like each each topic gets a shorter and shorter bit, mm -hmm. so it starts cutting between them really fast. Playing this like intense music, and it's like they they're not related whatsoever. Well, yeah, that's the problem. Why focus on these random stories if there's absolutely no link beyond this strange idea that there were supposed to be conspiracy theories, even though they're really not like that. The, th the themes and the stories that they're actually telling are so detached from each other and they don't tie into each other in any form. So the video comes across as completely scatterbrained. And you could just cut it up into segments and just put them together and it'd be like, oh look, there you go. Then you have, then you, at least you have a 30 minute focus video about stupid Chuck E. Cheese nonsense. Hmm. But it's like, it's this really self-aggrandizing sort of, like just pointless, meandering video where it's just cutting between these like random stories like barely developing them at all just again and again just going on this cycle of like here's a bit of the Chuck E. Cheese thing mm -hmm. here's a bit of the Britney thing here's a bit of this voice the, software thing the most annoying thing though is that like one of them does have some sort of progression and you want to find out more and the other two are just sort of going in a circle yeah because the, the the two stories that aren't the child abduction one are they're just guff. There's nothing to they, say. They There's are, nothing to add. It it's as simple as I have this idea and then doing the idea. Yeah, it's no different to the vlogs he would always do. Mm. Where you just go mess around for fifteen to twenty minutes. Doesn't really matter, it's just you know, you're just hanging out with Shane for a bit and yeah, the video ends. Funny. And that's fine when it's like a vlog. But this is... It's like documentary length. There are documentaries of this same length which you can go out and watch that are extremely informative, that have a point, that explore some kind of idea. Mm -hmm. there, there, ain't, there ain't no work put into this. You said it yourself, like... I was like, take that Chuck E. G Cheese one, for example. Wouldn't it have kind of been fun if you properly committed to the, like, the concept and was yeah, like, you know what, I'm going to yeah. get a job at Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go in there and I'm going to see what happens behind the scenes. Maybe have a secret like recording device or something like that. See, that would be illegal. No, if you like blurred their face and everything and if you like properly... like This is my point where it's yeah, like... If he made so it if a you're, documentary. If you're too scared to even approach the interesting part of what makes documentaries yeah, interesting... Yeah, yeah. Why are you trying? Are you even doing it in the first make place? Documentaries, mm -hmm. you know. Because I even read an article um, where Chuck E. Cheese they had to defend themselves as a result of the video because it's such a popular. It went, this the the when this video first came out, everyone went wild about the Chuck E. Cheese thing. It was everywhere. People were just like, "Is this?" Yeah, because there's like a true? mystery, and people love the mystery, don't they? Mm -hmm. And because at the end he nostalgia critics it and goes. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. So so it's just like, what? So why have I sat here for an hour and a half? You've literally answered nothing. You've done just the very things that you already described in the opening. You explored the topic no further. You really did nothing. It's just filler. It has no point. You can't do that. It's just not the way it works. You see, I'm going to say a word here. Levity. You think it's levity to counterbalance the the um, extremely intense? It's it's a possibility. 
that's such a mistake though because well yeah imagine i'm not saying it's the right thing yeah yeah but, <laughs> but like imagine how the the people involved with that feel where they're watching this well, documentary yeah. about this like horrendous thing that happened to their life like a, a real life ruining event mm -hmm. something that would really haunt you probably for the rest of your days like you have a kid with someone who turned out to be a liar a fucking traffic like that's really serious and you're watching that and you're like, man, this is heavy. Then it cuts to like... <laughs> an animatronic Give from me the Chuck tea. E. Cheese. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, or an animatronic or whatever. And it's, it's just... Yeah, but Br Britney watched the video and she loved it. Well, of course she did, because, you know, she probably got a few book sales out of it. <laughs> Let's talk about the book thing then. Woo! Um, That's my theory as to why the video exists, is to sell books, effectively. <clears throat> I can't think of any other reason. Well, that, that, it would explain why uh, her story wasn't explained fully in detail, because it's probably all explained in the book. That's true. So, yeah. But if, also on her channel. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, that this is what I, I was saying earlier. Like, it's really hard to criticise this. Is it? You know? I no, don't think it is. I no, think it's... because it's such a serious subject. You know? No, but the, there's... The documentary is the problem, not the story. Yeah, it's not her. It's not her. It's Shane and no, the way he's done this documentary, which we're criticizing. No, but you're saying it's to sell her book. So she did it for monetary gain. That's what you're saying. I'm saying not from her perspective. I reckon he put it in there as like, a, yeah, I know this is going to be hugely popular because, you know, I'm Shane Dawson. So we might as well sell a few copies of your book. So let's just... You know, just make sure we include lots of mentions of the book and include. But he also includes a clip of from her channel from ages ago, I think, where she shouts out his book. Nightstand with Shane's book. Everyone get it. It's so good. Yeah, it's like just typical mega vlogger just circle jerking. They all do it. No, but, but I mean, jerking. in his own video, he has someone else shouting out his book. Yeah, because you got to remind people that he has a book too. Like she, other people can have a book that you know you can urge them to buy, but don't forget about our Shaney boy. He needs his book money. I want to fuck you. I want to have sex with you. I actually hate this video so much. It pisses me off. It's actually so blatant in what it's trying to do. Let's just say Th this isn't the first time we've attempted to watch this video either. We did attempt to watch it and we had to stop. Cause we well, just Alex couldn't. fell asleep. <laughs> Alex fell asleep, and we were just like, we can't do this. Yeah. No, because th there's just no structure to it. It's actual nonsense. You can just skip through the video, and just be like, well, I got the same amount out of this random part than I did at the other well, random no, part. No, I'd probably say they could actually, they could have a better experience. Because if they happen to jump to the one <laughs> yeah. same story, they could yeah. get that half an hour of just one story. That might be the best way to watch this video. The best way to watch this video is to not watch it at all. Well, yeah, don't watch it for a start. It's a waste. Where it's an absolute waste has of time. Everyone already watched Alex. Yeah, if you haven't seen it though, it's an absolute waste of time. Don't even bother. But if you had to, I'm pretty sure I saw that someone has just uploaded the Britney bits together into like really? a 40 minute video. And it's like, well, there you go. There's the, there's the story. So just watch that. Is it really 40 minutes of the hour and a half? I believe so. Yeah. Well, then think about the rest it. Like, would be forty as well, pretty much. Yeah, and then a twenty minutes, a twenty minute vlog each for the other two vlog subjects that have just nothing to do with anything. The thing is, did you notice as well, like the whole fake voice one? It, there's no conclusion. Y y that's it. Doesn't end. It it, it, the gambling it's, thing has no conclusion either. It's just brought up and randomly. No, that, that's just like it, that it's is, just them saying the same point over and over. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese is gambling for kids. Chuck E. Cheese is gambling for kids. It's like Chuck the, E. Cheese the, is gambling for kids. It's like the, in the editing bay, they're like, shit, like, this has no point. No, but... <laughs> so no, what, I, how I can we make this was, have a point? Um, so we've got this 40 minutes mm -hmm. of, of um, guff that they need to fill. Well, it was, we got 40 minutes of the real stuff being yep. the Britney stuff. We need an equivalent amount to make this an hour and a half, I guess. But why does it have to be... I Fuck really knows. don't understand why it has to be that length. Like, a 40-minute video is still going to do gangbusters for him. That's what I really don't get. The guy's got 20 billion subscribers. He doesn't need to fill out these videos so they're longer so he can put more ads in them. I really can't think as to why he does it, as unless he really thinks that this is, like, the creative vision. Well, yeah. Or... No, that's what I mean there. Like, 
he's trying to make this like a feature length movie oh wait these other two bits don't have enough to them at all because it's just oh look there's this technology the I feel it could be that because of the Britney subject so serious that he wanted to make the video not as serious by having two other subjects that were far away. But that's not what documentaries do. That's not what you do in documentaries. No, it's not. Like, if you don't want the, the documentary to be serious, then don't make the documentary about serious subjects. It just makes no sense. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, the, the video just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense when you're watching it. It doesn't make sense when you try to think about how... Or why they made it the way they did. Yeah. It, it None of it makes sense. Well, like, before we did this video, we were like, how are we even going to structure this discussion? Because the video is just such a complete, ridiculous mess. It's really hard to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Really hard. It's, like, impenetrable because it's just such a bloated mess of just random shit just thrown at the screen. Like, we, ha James alluded to it briefly, <coughs> the, the weird B-roll thing that this... The, in the editing that they keep doing mm. where they'll be talking about something and then he'll head over to video blocks find like a random clip of a fucking CG robot no, this is what I was saying about the schizophrenia it, he yeah, just yeah. has it, he wants this like spooky atmosphere yeah and it, it really sort of <clears throat> it's really overcompensating for this yeah this idea that it has to be scary and like a conspiracy theory and now and again they throw in like Area 51 and alien stuff and like yeah. ghosts and there was literally a part where it just said Area 51 didn't it? With an alien face after it. <laughs> it was just out yeah. of the blue. It is just it is stock footage and like PNGs and green screen like gambling you know coins falling like it, it yeah. is it's extremely amateur and really over the top and clearly designed for the lowest common denominator, like to just constantly be like, just sho f shoving shit on the screen to, to like interact with the brain, to like trick you into thinking that what's happening is more exciting than what actually is happening. To make it seem more serious and important. Almost. Yeah, and he, and he like raises these questions that clearly just popped into his head that actually mean nothing and are just non sequiturs, like just based on sh shit all. But uh, the same thing about that is it's those parts that is oddly amusing though it's like they're kind of funny how like this is, that's out, out of place they are that's the thing that's why this video is even more confusing because it is like i can say i wasn't bored until past the hour mark really yeah i, I was bored instantly yeah I, but i think this video sucks see we need I, to address that you have an issue with chain dawson you have beef. You have had beef. No, for... even that removed, I think this video is just unexcusable. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's in the back of your head. It's eating away. The beef is real. There, there's and... a lot of times when I've laughed because it's just like, that's so fucking obscene. That is so yeah, retarded. But the that's thing is, funny. the really serious stuff makes the stuff that I wouldn't normally find funny, I find it funny. Because it's just so misplaced. Because it's so inept, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like his movies that he made, which are also completely inept and are terrible movies. Yeah. This is no. that, the same version, but as a documentary. It's just as misguided. It has no idea what it's even trying to achieve. It's just a total it's, mess. It's better than his... than not cool. I don't know, because think about the intent and how badly it is failing. Like, honestly, you... There's no excuse for a video this long where over half of it is just pointless. Completely pointless doesn't need to be there. Yeah, but you would... If if they removed it now, you would miss it. No, I wouldn't. I'd be like, <laughs> that was a more concise video and I actually got what I was looking for. I want to focus on this, this one of the segments which was about the voice thing. Now... From the start, the way it's introduced, that subject is quite interesting where, you know, software has gone to the state where it can be, you can replicate people's voice. I imagine, I'm pretty sure there's probably actual documentaries about this. You could easily make one about in, that. Yeah, that's a really interesting subject, but all it leads to is like this throwaway joke of them talking for a, for a phone. Shane just saying he wants to fuck people. 
basically. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. has the least conclusion. It literally just goes. That's it. It's gone. The joke's done. And it, it's terrible. Give me the tea. Give me the tea. Wait, the tea sound. Give me the tea. It's the worst part of the fucking video is that that whole segment. Yeah, about but it's the Chuck E. Cheese gambling thing's worse. Yeah, no, that. The I thing is, the so. pizza bit is good. I have a question for you, Alex. What? Um, not not thinking about your beef with uh, Shane Dawson. Do you think Shane Dawson is a pervert? Couldn't possibly say. <laughs> from possibly say. just from this video, he clearly is interested in sexual themes. Based on this video and how he likes to interject it like really randomly. I want to fuck you. But I don't, I don't fucking know. Why are you asking me this? <laughs> I just want to know that guy. I'm just, I just talking about this video. The beef. Rate, rate the documentary out of 10. Zero. No, one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be that harsh on it. Yeah, because it's a fucking good video. Because I laughed and I, I was fucking blown away. By how just fucked it is. No. It's a straight like it's a straight seven or six. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to beat you up right now? <laughs> it's a good video, man. It's not a good fucking video. It's so shit. Have we mentioned the act thing? He has the goal to to split the documentary into three acts. Because of course. Traditionally, every story is split into three acts. Hmm. Which is the only reasoning as to why yeah. I, I thought he did that. I don't know if he was just going by the Britney stuff when it came to the acts. Because the, he had different names for each act. Yeah, like act one was the questions. And act three was the reality or something. Yeah. They each had different little... Things behind them, but like, and it's like that, it's, doesn't, that only applies to the Britney one. Yeah, the other ones, there's no conclusion. So, well, it's like the Britney one has a conclusion at least. The the uh, Chuck E. Cheese one has half a conclusion, where he just sort of goes, "Well, don't know." And yeah, then, but like, and then the robot one doesn't have a conclusion. He just sort it's, of forgets about it. Yeah, but he's put the three acts in there, like, as I say, to give the illusion of like some kind of professionalism, as if it's why everyone treats these like they are more than they actually are when they are just shite. They are just rich people hanging around with cameras, just just bullshitting. Like, even the main thread, the Britney thing, is. It's only in this because he was like mates with her like years ago. Yeah. And she happened to have this crazy story that she's written a book about and it's like I I have a genuine question though because I'm I'm I think we had the same question for the nostalgia critic video we did. What's that? Um do you think Shane Dawson is aware of that what he's making like isn't good? No. There's no way. Because look at the success he's garnered from these videos. Whatever he's doing is clearly the right way to get attention. So, no, but, from his but, perspective, that is... Good. Like, what he's doing is working. No, I know that, but do you think he would look back at his video and think... Yeah, that's... I don't know, because if, if he genuinely did think about that kind of thing... Why would the production of the video be so bland? Why would it be so amateur? Why would he be sat there with a blue yeti talking into it as if this is like this crazy, big budget, important documentary? He, he, so, so you think he doesn't think it's all that important, but he's just doing well, I, I, The thing is, he doesn't come across like he's trying to inflate this this thing to be more than it is but it's the reaction from people the way people talk yeah. about it it's like yeah. oh the new Shane Dawson doc has dropped and it's like no he's uploaded a new stupid video in his like fantasy land that he lives in like that that's the truth you see I, I think he's just he just does this shit because it works yeah like that would that make sense to why this shit is what it is 
I don't know how else you could make something like that video. That's what I'm saying. That's why he must believe that it is good. It's t it's too much work. It's too much work and wasted time to. No, but I mean, what? What's the work that he's doing? Coming up with these stupid ideas and filming them. He doesn't edit them. Well, presumably he's producing the whole thing. Like he's creating it. He's almost like the director of it in a sense. He's the face of it. He's the one who's directing all of the content. Like every every thesis in the video comes from his mouth. Yeah. And it is just such a disingenuous, like half-assed way of making content like this because there there really is no point, none. Even the Britney thing is like, well, yeah, it's an interesting story, but not really in this documentary. Like, the real interesting well, yeah, stuff's I mean, in the book. They don't explore it. They don't... No, yeah, that's the thing. Where it's like, you've just wasted the other 40 minutes of this documentary on this just irrelevant shit when you could have actually explored yeah. the story. And that's another huge issue I have, is it, it is also immensely one-sided. That's just bad documentary filmmaking if you yeah. have this outlandi outlandish story and your only source is the one person who's claiming that all this stuff happened to them. Like, do, are you really not going to even attempt to try and get, like, another side? It's such a... And his, like, personal altercations and involvement in it gives it a weird slant. It's just a really strange way to approach this kind of thing. But if it wasn't presented in this documentary format and it was just a normal I'm Shane Dawson, here's a vlog, check out this crazy story that my friend went through. Yeah. I'd have no problem with that That's because the there's thing. nothing disingenuous about that. I don't think he realises what he's done there. I think from his perspective it is just normal Shane Dawson sitting talking with his friend. Mm. But because he's because of this previous conspiracy theory video, I guess he, wants to he, tie it together, he thinks it? he's expected to do this thing again and keep going with the documentaries but the thing is even his other documentaries they aren't documentaries no it's just him going and hanging out with someone and not challenging them and just being it just yeah because it's if, just nothing if we do treat these videos as actual documentaries, then that they are zeros out of ten. They're actually so incredibly bad that they have no value as, as would... a documentary. However, if they are like vlogs, if yeah. they are documenting yeah. his relationships with people and that side of YouTube, then I have no problem with that. But it's as soon as you start assigning these labels mm -hmm. like documentary, which which means something. Well, it just makes it seem like promotion. You know, when he does yeah. things with Jeffree Star and uh, Logan Paul, it's just an excuse for them to show their good side. Yeah, it's and very then, circle jerky. All and then it. Shane Dawson is just like, wow, yeah, you and are false, actually yeah. awesome. Because he he never actually challenges anything. Like, even at the Chuck E. Cheese part where they do get delivered pizzas in the the place and they look wrong, like, he doesn't ask anyone who works well, there no, he or said he did it off camera and then he sort of reenacted the interaction so it's like wait did that happen or because i mean this is just coming from you now so like, yeah it's just bizarre it's so bizarre and it's just it's just a boring video like it's there's nothing entertaining about it apart from the fact that it is so bad that you're actually just stunned by what you're watching and like just the way it's constructed is just such a mess. I disagree with that. I generally find the stuff with Britney, that's the only grip I had with this the first time I watched it was, I've got a grip because I just want to know what the fuck this guy actually what? did. That's yeah. it. That's, that's, besides that, it's, there's nothing. See, to me, that, that Britney thing and the fact that that story is interesting makes this documentary worse to me. Yeah, it's a crime, the fact that he's... Yeah. He's constantly going away from it. And, like, it just pisses you off eventually because it's like he's leaving it on cliffhangers when it's like. You don't. You, it's not like a TV show. This mm -hmm. is real life. Yeah. Just tell us. And, and clearly, the importance of the Britney thing is much higher. Like, on a yeah. personal level, on a stakes level, on like a tension level, all of that. Mm -hmm. is like has gravitas to it 
The other stuff is it's just throwaway garbage. Like, it doesn't matter. So every time it does cut to you, you're like, Okay, this is cute, I guess, Shane, and you're so quirky and all that. But fucking hell, like, just get on with it. Mm -hmm. Have some, like, point to this. It is weirdly similar to that Nostalgia Critic the Wall, th Nostalgia Critic the Wall thing we, we did. Because that video is confused and doesn't know what the fuck it's trying to achieve. There's there's too many similarities between those two these two videos. There generally is, and it's it's. But like it's not it's not hard to just have right. This is what I want the video to be about, and then you just have the video be about that, and then that's it. Like even if it's kind of shoddy and amateur, at, at least you stuck to your guns, and like that was the product at the end of the day, mm. instead of just this. Th this. Like. I, I don't understand how you can make something like this, like, unless it is just really rushed or something, or if it is just, they're just chilling, they're just hanging out, having a, having a bit of banter with a camera involved, and then they just edit some shit together based, like, after it, and they're like, well, I guess, need a yeah, funny well, bit there. When you're living that lifestyle, it all just blurs into one thing, doesn't it? Like, the camera's on you 24-7, every, life is just a documentary, you know? See, if they took this whole Britney thing out of it, and they just added another slot bang shitty conspiracy into it, it's, it I'd see it's just a, just a dumb, stupid video. There's no harm done, it's just fun, whatever. Yeah, that would be so much less insulting. It would, yeah. but it's because he's mashed this into a really hard story that it's just like... It's just, it's like, it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth, really. It's so it just makes it so much worse. Yeah. So misguided. It's it's very yikesy. You know? Mm. Like, ooh. You're you're really doing that? Shane? No self awareness as to no. like how you can sit back and watch that video and be like, Oh, hang on. That tonally is really strange to have after that scene that I just had. Yeah. That's really kind of inappropriate and weird and doesn't work. The thing is as well. It's just weird in in like the the scenes with the with Shane talking to Britney and there's the cameraman and every now and again he like talks and makes jokes. Well, the cameraman. Yeah. Yeah, the cameraman has like a strange presence the, in the video. Yeah. Is that's that's maybe that's part of what bothers me so much about it is the fact that like it's edited as if it's supposed to be a documentary. But it is on a YouTube channel, and it's kind of made in a way, in the same way that a vlog is made. Yeah. Like, they're not, they don't have a crew, well, they sort of have a little tiny crew, but not like an actual documentary crew in the same way. It's not professional, but I mean, like, if the cameraman is going to play a role, have, it, have him be in it all the time. Consistency. Yeah, or never. But well, it's like so much of the video makes no sense if you're not like a Shane Dawson, yeah, yeah, like fan already. Which I guess, you know, it's not really a fair complaint because it is on his channel and everything. But it's like, it just shows to me like a, a, a lack of intent or clear understanding of what he wants to achieve with the the video. I have no idea it's, how do you it's make... like, uh, what's the Kim Kardashian show called? Keeping up with Keeping the Kardashians. Up. Keeping up with the Kardashians, it's like that level of entertainment. No, it's worse. Because I, I, I recently saw a few episodes of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Okay, what it was way more entertaining than that. It had through lines, like it was cutting between equally like just unimportant moronic stories that really have no consequence. But they're all treated of the sort of same way. Because it's done and by a through professional line. team. Yeah, there was a through line and the people were more interesting, the drama was more consistent like it's worse than keeping up with kardashians which everyone hates i don't but when shane dawson does it i guess it's cool and fucking awesome because standards are just so meteorically low on youtube that you can just make fucking anything call it call it something call it a professional name and then people yeah. just lap we've it got up. a documentary on the yeah. way let's just make a documentary about fucking underwear that absorbs our farts and just sit there yeah. farting for an hour and a half or like a cat or something. Yeah, you know, something actually interesting. You know? I, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss people off with just how negative I've been this video, but like, th this was the subject 
Jim, it's Jim's fault. <laughs> I, I don't. He's passionate about this video. And like, <clears throat> I'm not though. I laughed a lot when I first watched this video. And you, you laughed and you. As soon as you now. put any critical eye onto it, though, it's like this. Just... Yeah, that's the thing. I I was intoxicated when I first watched the video, <laughs> and that made it a lot better. It's the only way to enjoy it. It is the say. only way to enjoy it. And if you're not intoxicated enough when you watch this video, it's a bad time. It is. It's an awful. It's time. almost unwatchable. Like it's like so hard to pay attention because the the. The documentary itself isn't even paying attention. It's just like, yeah. now this is, oh, oh, what's that over there? Oh, pizza. Gambling. <laughs> like, just get, fuck yourself. It's so fucking bad. I, with how people reacted to this video, I honestly expected it to be like something good. Something fucking actually had a point. That, that's, what, that's what I got from the people who talked about it. I feel like people said it was good because... It had a serious bit. Yeah. You know? Like, if this wasn't on YouTube, then nobody would give a shit. But because it's yeah. on YouTube and it had a serious bit... Damn, this video fucking go... It's like, it's hard. fake deep. Yeah. There really is no substance and you learn nothing. Yeah. The most you learn and is a vague story about how this woman got manip manipulated, but all of the interesting stuff is left out. And we didn't talk about the weird part at the end where Shane kind of takes a personal stance against the guy. Like, yeah. he, it stops being... Like, he doesn't decide if the documentary is like this impartial documentation of this event. And then randomly at the end he decides, actually, no, I'm going to take a personal investment stance on this. Like, I was protecting this, this manipulator guy. But not now. I'm not. I'm gonna unblur his face, and you're gonna see his face for what he truly is. And it's like, okay, so, so you're kind of taking it personally. You, what are you? What are you inciting people to do right now? Yeah. Like, what is the point of that? You're just trying to send people <laughs> after him. The like, what thing is like you were saying earlier? People were just focused on the fucking pizza thing. He shot yeah. himself in the fucking foot. Like he had this, this human tra this alleged human human trafficker, and uh, the yeah. awful thing he's done. But everyone's like. What the fuck? This Chuck E. Cheese, they're evil. Yeah, because that Chuck E. Cheese thing is a funny idea for a video. And if you wanted to yeah. do like a, a 30 minute, like funny sort of faux documentary or even documentary like styled video and just put it on his channel in a casual way. Yeah. Like no one would care. You know, it would be fun. It would be silly. Everyone would be talking about it. It is just structured around like these talking points, you know? Like, it's not even about anything. It's just like, oh, this will get people talking about it on social media. This part people will get attached to. And yeah. op open-ended conspiracy theories are just... They're just fuel for the fire in terms of YouTube content. Like, yeah. people love it. Like, comment sections just explode when you have these open-ended questions. And that's why he never answers anything. It's such a nostalgia critic cop-out to just be like, hmm. Oh. You decide, sort of thing. Yeah. Well, so, so this entire time, it was completely pointless. Zero out of ten. This video is j it's an abomination. I can't stand it. Do you think Shane Dawson is the left-wing Alex Jones? <laughs> what? It's like perfectly engineered around pussyfooting. Around not answering any questions. Yeah. It's blue-balling. That's all it is. Yeah, it's just blue-balling. Blue-balling. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got anything else to say about this video. I don't either. It's it's a fucking abomination. I'll just say, pff, at least he didn't steal anyone's jokes this time. Way you're just a manipulative. <laughs> <Shane Dorps. laughs> Can you just have like that all beeped and then go from here? Thank you for watching this episode of Is Shane Dawson Really a Fucking Scumbag? I'll let you decide because we're not going to answer yeah. anything and put any. We're not going to. Is decide. it good? Maybe. Yeah, like forget everything I said in the video. Like that's all just like. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just no, like rhetorical just questions. Like, like you don't really have to take it seriously. You know? Yeah. Why did you have to do that just then? Thank you for watching this episode of Shane Fuck Guy.